we're on the train to the Lash, which is again where we're changing to go. Um, we're going to Vienna now, and um, yeah, we weren't expecting to get a proper car. But we've actually got quite a nice little um, carriage here. We're not sure whether we're going to get kicked out, and we're not really sure how this works, but hopefully, we're going to say. through Bled train station where we were at 4 a.m. the other day absolutely abandoned and oh, it's sunny yeah. this time there's it like it's bright there are loads of people there the coffee shop is actually open and it looks alive compared to when we were here which is really weird we're about to get off the train in the last, which is where we're changing again um, and we realized we don't have lunch so I'm gonna try and do a mad dash in 15 minutes to get everyone lunch we're gonna see how this goes I hope I make it said it was like an hour and ten minutes to walk for accommodation which is not what we were expecting because we thought we'd read that it was a hundred meters so we are now trying to get our second trip we don't really know how the whole ticketing system works so we bought a ticket and we're hoping that's what we're supposed to be we're not really sure we are now going um, for dinner so we have I, like I have some family friends that live in Vienna and so they sent us a message and they've sorted us a place for dinner um, so we're going to go and try and find that now and hopefully have a really nice meal this is apparently where we're having dinner the building looks very pretty <laughs> probably haven't ended the vlog for the day most days but um we today we've just like been wandering around since we got here um, and had our dinner and whatever and i think i've inserted probably a bunch of clips of pretty buildings because that's most of what we saw wandering around this evening in vienna <laughs> it's sunday morning and we're going to go and spend the day in vienna i think we have a little walking tour planned not entirely sure what we're gonna do but we're gonna enjoy like morning slash afternoon in Vienna and then we are off to Bratislava which seems to be about the same story of getting to the hostel from the station so we'll see whether that can go any more smoothly. You didn't watch Fantastic Beasts? No, I was gonna but then I had to do it after and then more came out. It's 11.30 we still haven't had breakfast so we're trying to find a museum with a nice cafe. I think we're going to try and go to the Albertina Museum because that looks like it's got quite a nice like mix of stuff that will like recognise some of the artists and things like Picasso and Monet and stuff. This is the Albertina Museum. We are back to wandering around looking for a cafe. We got to the Albertina but the restaurant was ridiculously expensive so we just want anything for breakfast to be honest. We could have a sandwich, don't really care. Just food would be nice so hopefully we're gonna find something. We gave up on breakfast, we're having lunch instead so yeah. Tina, take two.
we've now decided we're going to do a walking tour because we weren't really sure what to do and we don't have that much time um up here it looks like the sky is all really nice and bright and then over there it's horrible and gray so we're really hoping that we get the nice bright sky so that <laughs> we can actually make the most of the like two or three hours we have left in vienna well unsurprisingly i screwed up and we have just walked in a massive circle and the Albertina steps, which I inserted a clip of before, are just here behind me. As it turns out, that was where we were supposed to be. It's just when we started doing our route, we hadn't planned that we were going to come back. So the route we were taking took us right back around in a circle, but we weren't lost. We just hadn't planned very well. Sun and we've got tasty Viennese cake and coffees and then I've got iced tea and we're just sitting here in the middle of the road in the sun. St Stephen's I think it is Cathedral which we went past yesterday actually has this really pretty bit of roof that we've just spotted as we've been walking up the main street. The toilet block of your life. Anyway we're just walking along this area with super pretty graffiti along the um, river as we make our way back to the accommodation to pick up our bags and go to the train station. We're just walking along here and there was a restaurant that had the World Cup in the window because it's a World Cup at the moment whilst we're here and, um, and Spain. Yes I don't care <laughs> right now it's quite exciting to me that Spain is beating Russia although I'm sure I've probably cursed it now. Just watching Spain, Russia and unfortunately Russia got a penalty because Spain did a handball. We're on our way again! Backpacks. Little muraling session down here doing Whoa. another section of the wall. That's what I'm going to call it. What would you call it? Graffiti. A graffiti session. That's what they're doing isn't it Frankie? We're in the main station now. Um, and we're going to go and find our train. We need to pay for tickets to Bratislava because we had a little confusion about how it worked with night train tickets and we thought we only needed to put one day on our pass. But because of the rules of how it works, which are more detailed than people tell you, and I will explain that in a tips video, we actually had to use two journeys for that, which means that we can't fit this journey onto our interrail pass, so we're going to have to pay for it now. So this milk bar here is a delicious little snack. It's a little bit of creamy milk covered in a nice short bready biscuit with a thin layer of chocolate along the bottom. I would really recommend it. <laughs> we are now on our way to Bratislava. We have just set off. We were tracking the football, which is not going very well for Spain. Well, they're, they're one all, but we think they're going to lose on penalties soon. Um, so it's the end of the half an hour extra time and they still haven't got different to 1-1. One, one. So now... Um, they're onto penalties so we're just tracking it on Amelia's phone we've put our backpacks over there and we're both sitting here tracking it whilst watching the not necessarily very impressive views from the window Google has bombed out on us but Caitlin's brother is texting her all of the details <laughs> so Spain lost <laughs> but this means that like four major teams have been knocked out of the World Cup so now we're just going to have to rest our hope on England which isn't very hopeful but all we've got thank you for watching guys i do hope you've enjoyed this video i know it ended pretty abruptly with all of like the world cup talk we were getting a bit excited on the um train there um but i hope you've enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe if you did and i will be uploading our next video soon which will be a bratislava vlog thanks bye